Even before today's shooting in Florida, a group of mothers were in Frankfurt advocating for what they call common sense gun laws. Families with the organization Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America rallied in the Capitol this morning. Organizers called on lawmakers to stop three bills currently going through the legislature. They say are dangerous. House Bill 210 would allow guns on college campuses. House Bill 36 would allow concealed carry without a permit. And Senate Bill 103 would allow armed guards in schools. ABC 36's Kelsey Thord was at today's rally. She has more from Frankfurt. Among the many voices making themselves heard during this rally was one well-known Lexington mother who is on a mission to turn the tragedy of losing her own son to gun violence into action. Anita Franklin's 21-year-old son, Antonio Franklin, was shot and killed while walking through Duncan Park back in 2014. He laid under a sign with a bullet in his head that read, years from now, People may not know who I was or what I've done, but what's most important is that I'm important in the life of a child. Franklin says she took that to heart and has since been on a mission to make Antonio's life important. I started an organization called the Antonio Franklin Balance Intervention Project. I chose those words because the acronyms are VIP. I want everyone in this room, including children, to know that they are very important people. Through that organization, Franklin teamed up with Moms Demand Action to campaign for what she calls common sense gun laws. See something, say something, do something. We can no longer remain quiet about our safety. And Franklin's not staying quiet. In addition to her advocacy work, she's also running for Lexington's Urban County Council. Let's get better and do it together. Let's get better and do it together. Thank you so much and God bless you. Franklin will be hosting her annual Peace Walk at Duncan Park on April 14th this year. A very special day, she says, given that it's the fourth anniversary of her son Antonio's death. Reporting in Frankfurt, Kelsey Thorid, ABC 36 News.